I'm not aware of any new cases. And, and actually, we've seen um, what's a hopeful response. Uh, I know that there's been a diminished number of, I'll call them poll watchers, um, is my understanding. And, and, and there hasn't been a presence of armed poll watchers since just a few days ago when we spoke of this issue. So my hope is that it continues to um, stand course as it has, but we'll, we'll take it a day at a time and an incident at a time. When you continue to layer this issue and, and add more elements that are inherently, you know, conflicting, then you then you have a higher probability of something volatile happening. So, although I can appreciate the intentions of both groups when done um, for the right reasons and done respectfully and, and without any form of intimidation, uh, it goes very quickly from well intended to poorly executed, and then bad things happen. Nice to meet you. Hi. Hi, how are you? How are you? I'm not even communicating with them. No, he's putting that in my face. I'm sitting down. He's with a gun standing over top of me. I'm sitting down. He's got a gun too? Are you intimidated by him? Guys, can we just get away from each other? Is that possible? We were away from you. But those who are kind of self-empowering and feel this need to step in, uh, I just, I believe that it causes more interference and, and conflict than it does uh, good for us. So we're pretty good at what we do. Leave it to us and we'll be okay. It is a, um, it is a growing toxic problem where individuals feel that it is appropriate to use forms of intimidation and threats to try to influence political outcomes. They are jeopardizing the safety and the well-being of of good public servants and volunteers and others who work in this capacity that come from all walks of life. And the focus is to have a, a thorough, transparent and accurate count of the votes. And when people act in that way, uh, it is nothing more or less than criminal. It is not justified. It is not appropriate. It is not uh, patriotism. It is a criminal act and it's unacceptable. And if you really believe in, in, in the foundation of this free nation, then you have respect for those who have been elected and, and, and their responsibilities. And you have respect for those that do the, the everyday job um, to, to facilitate those outcomes. And, and if you're doing something to undermine it or to interfere with it, then you need to be held accountable. And, and from this office, you will.